A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduluju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. What are the keys by which we'll obtain the promises of God for our lives? God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. He has also given unto us exceeding great and precious promises so that we can become partakers of the divine nature. But how do we obtain this that God has made available, that God has given to us? How do we obtain them? How do we possess them? How do we manifest them? How do we enter into these blessing, blessings that God has made ours? How do we obtain them? Number one, we obtain by the key of obedience. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Number two, you obtain by faith. You can only obtain from God by faith. Faith is a currency of exchange in God's kingdom. It is a spiritual legal tender. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And for those who will come to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Faith is essential. Number three is by the key of grace and favor. Grace and favor. You need the grace and the favor of God if you must become anything in life and in destiny. What is the key number four to give us or help us to obtain the promises of God for our life? The key number four is the key of prayers. In Daniel chapter number nine, verse two to four and verse 20 to 23, the Bible says, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. So Daniel prayed in verse number 20 beginning. The Bible says, And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God, yea, whilst I was speaking in prayers, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O oh, Daniel, I am now come forth to give this skill and understanding. At the beginning of thy supplication, the commandment came forth, and I am come to shew thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Daniel prayed, and he obtained answers by prayers. You can obtain by prayers. There is nothing that prayers cannot deliver to you. Prayer opens doors. Prayer closes doors. Prayer is very important. Prayer heals the sick. Prayer delivers the oppressed. It was prayers that brought Peter out of prison. When Herod kept him in prison, intending to kill him as he killed James, the Bible says the church raised the prayer altar. Prayer and supplication was raised for Peter. And the night Herod would have brought him out to kill, and the angel of God was dispatched in response to the prayers of the saint and he brought, the, brought him out of prison. Don't forget, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 16 from verse 25, Paul and Silas found themselves in the Philippian jail. The Bible says at midnight they prayed and they sang praises to God and the prisoners heard them. And the Bible says uh, the place was shaking. There was an earthquake. The foundations of the prisons, all of the foundations of the prisons were shaking and every man's chain fell off. In answer to prayers, doors opened, chains broke, and their freedom was guaranteed. Prayer is very powerful. If you want to increase your power quotient, increase your prayer life. Don't forget prayer is in the power equation. If you want to increase your power base, increase your power life. Wait on God in fasting and in prayers. This is a major way 
to obtain. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8, the Bible says, Ask, of course, in prayers, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. The Bible says, He that asketh, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. It is important for you, dear listener, to seek in prayers. God has promised you, but you have to wait well to bring your promises to pass. Paul told Timothy, you have to war with prophecies. You don't sleep with prophecies. Go to war with your prophecies and bring it to fulfillment and to manifestation. Prayer will bring about a release of your hanging promises and prophecies, bringing them to fulfillment in your life and in your destiny. Prayer, a major way to obtain promises from God. Learn to pray and spend time in the place of prayers. In Luke chapter 18, beginning from verse 1, the Bible says, Jesus told his disciples these parables to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. In his epistle to the Thessalonians, Paul the apostle said, pray without season. It is important for us to pray and at all times. Pray. Don't be weary to pray. Don't be too tired to pray. Prayer will bring about a performance of your promises and will deliver the promises of God unto you. You can obtain the promises of God for your life through prayers. Point number five, by action. You can take delivery of the promises of God for you by action. If you fold your hands expecting prophecies concerning you or promises concerning you to self-fulfill themselves, then you are self-deluded. You are wasting your time. In Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24, God spoke to the children of Israel and said, Rise ye up, Take your journey and pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I have given into thine hand Sion, the Amorite king of Eshbon and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. God said, I have given you Sion, the, uh, the king of Amorite and, his, and the king of Eshbon and his land. He said, but you must begin to possess it. That is, you must start the possession. You must take steps. You must take action. Desires or intentions without actions will end in frustration. So you must add action to your belief, to your faith. Act it out. Faith is an acting one, an action word. Faith that believes. Faith does something. It takes step to actualize what he is trusting God for. God will not come and deliver it to you. It is your responsibility to rise up, take steps by faith, and bring the miracle Miracles home. God has given the children of Israel the uh, Sion, the Amorite, king of Eshbon, and his land. But he said, begin to possess it. He said, rise up content with them in battle. Whatever God has given to you by way of promise or prophecy, whatever you have believed God for, your responsibility is to rise up. You must first rise up and then you must take step to possess those things that God has destined for you. Rise up and begin to possess them. Rise up and begin to take delivery of them. Take steps. Don't fold your arms. Nothing happens in the life of a man whose hands are folded. Don't fold your arms. Put your hands to work. Let your hands go to work. Write that letter. Write that proposal. Submit that application. Do something. Take steps. Take action. In Hebrews chapter 6 and in verse number 12, the word of God says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Don't be slothful. There is no food for lazy man. Romans chapter 12 verse 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You cannot afford to be slothful in business. You must be fervent in spirit. You must serve the Lord. For your desires to be delivered, then you must go to work. Don't be slothful. Don't fold your arms. Go and do something. Go and work. And the answer and the miracles are waiting for you. As you take steps, they will come to you. They will be delivered to you. And this that you desired shall be delivered unto you in the precious name of Jesus. I'd like you to lift up your voice and let's pray this morning. Raise your voice and begin to pray. I take delivery of my promises. I take the 
delivery of my pro pro prophecies. I take delivery of my words in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, let my desires be delivered. Let my promises be delivered, be performed. Let my prophecies begin to find fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray, lift your voice and pray. Andro vesipa kantre yalagose impro negedushka yagatia pote shebe enanto zozu prana gadaruske ende yo prana gazozo freni garushka le mederebo les kampro yolobo in the name of Jesus by faith I take delivery of my desires by faith I take possession of my promises by faith I decree the fulfillment of my prophecies in the name of Jesus let there be performance oh God and let your name be glorified thank you father in Jesus name I like you to lift up your voice and pray and say father I receive by the help of your spirit the steps to take to possess my desire to obtain my miracles I receive by the leading of the Holy Spirit the direction the steps to take to de take delivery of my miracles in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray. Father, I begin to take step now. I arise, I contend, and I possess. I arise, I contend, and I possess my miracles, my blessings, my desires in the name of Jesus. I arise, I contend, and I possess in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. I, I declare in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the living God that as you prayed, heaven has heard, and as you will pray, heaven will hear, and your miracles shall be delivered to you. By prayer, by supplication, your desires shall be delivered, your expectations shall be granted, and God's name shall be glorified. As you arise, as you contend, you will possess, and God's name will be honored in jesus precious name we have prayed amen support daily impact with grace man with your prayers with your financial donations and by forwarding this message and sharing the link with your contacts and the lord bless you as you do follow me on social media my social media handles on youtube instagram tiktok and facebook is at yemi grace man and on twitter at Reverend Grisman. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jemi Grisman at Duluju, wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you.